For a long time, I have been fascinated by the story about Ötzi the Iceman. 2015, I climbed a mountain in the Ötztal Alps, not knowing how close I was to Ötzi's resting place for more than 5,000 years. A friend of mine offered me a wonderful piece of elm wood. I was thrilled to take that as a bow-making project, the rebuild of Ötzi's bow. But something stopped me. Am I on the right track? Is his bow made out of elm wood? I had to learn more about the bow that survived 5,000 years in the ice. So I went southbound to see the mummy and the bow with my own eyes. Of course, I took the opportunity and had a quick dip into Mediterranean waters before I turned back to Bolsonar, the little Italian town that provides nowadays Ötzi's resting place. Buon aperitivo. Here you can find a wonderful exhibition with all his belongings and my first lesson. The bow that the Iceman carried was made out of you. So this worked out quite perfect. Let's give it a quick break here. All my later problems could have been avoided if I had realized my mistake at this very moment. See how the width of the grains, or better annual rings, fade from right to left. Unfortunately, this occurred over the whole length of the stave. Maybe I shouldn't have split the wood like I did. Ötzi obviously tried to cross the Alps southbound like I did, but for sure his journey was more difficult. Scientists are still struggling with the question, was he really able to use his bow? Tragically, he maybe died by an arrow, an arrowhead was found in his back. 
Although there were no knocks on his bow, I put some grooves on the ends of mine.